The Dean Bundell Show. The Edge. Very disappointed right now. I'm very disappointed. Uh oh. Yeah, uh, I got to talk about it. All right. Ladies, if you're thinking of having plastic surgery, just don't. It makes you look ridiculous. Don't do it. And you're guaranteed more attractive before you started than you did. It just because it's a wrinkle you don't like or a, a, a pock mark you don't like. I'm looking at a, a girl on television right now. We watch every morning, and and a lovely, you know, she, by all, and you know oh, her she's very nice She's my favorite. Such an awesome person. Really great lady. And not, I'm not even going to say who it is. That's how nice she is. Completely ruined her face. Well, maybe like looks looks clown esque. Guys, same thing. If you're thinking of having work done to your face, like she can't even smile anymore. Did you see that? Like the upper lip is like it's like someone uh, stapled a two by four underneath her lip, and it's not moving. And then they put some balls in her cheeks. Her cheeks look like my nuts. I. Uh, it, it, don't don't get pl- I'm just I'm begging y'all stop it unless you want testicle face and two by four lip and you always look surprised <laughs> even when you're sad you look surprised <laughs> here's my happy face <laughs> I'd like to speak to a psychologist <laughs> Look at me! I'm so happy! Every time you drink, you do. Oh, you look happy. Stop it! Stop screwing with your faces! You screw it up! You. Gorgeous. You're gorgeous. There's nothing natu- better than someone that ages naturally. There's not it's someone that tries to put it off. Y- you look dumb. I firmly believe. <laughs> and again, this is just me saying an opinion that women do it for other women, not for men. Probably. Or yeah. to pr- prolong yeah. what they think is a yeah. career yeah. when they don't realize that the substance comes from inside, not your face. No, it's all about it's personality, it's yeah. character. You know, fake boobs, maybe they do that for men, but <laughs> yeah. Those are fine. I said your face. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with getting fake. Baby. And I can understand maybe a nose job. Especially Not if it's been broken. Like maybe just to, if like, it's been broken. Yeah. I like guess. I have a broken nose and I snore like a mofo. My, she's like, you should fix the DVA of septum. Like it's when I had the camera thing and like they fixed the bump so you breathe better. This isn't about you. Once again, no, you turn this saying, whole conversation into your no, deviated I'm saying that septum. I understand what from, I'm saying is women. women don't get plastic surgery on your faces. It's not about your deviated septum. Somehow you always manage to turn No, it because I was going to say that I could understand from if there was a surgical reason for it. Well, that's all other you have than to aesthetics. say. You don't have to talk about yourself. <laughs> you said that uh, you talked about yourself in this break. How? You said cheeks look like you're nuts. <laughs> you're talking about your... <laughs> <laughs> they do. Yeah. That cheeks, that well, chick's cheeks look like my balls You got to bring it to your now. nuts. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, they look like your balls. Anybody's balls. They look like balls. Sure, they look like anybody's they planted testicles septum. in the side of her. And, and 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 it's ridiculous how you do it. Ladies, stop it. Guys, stop it. If you're if you go for, right, even this guy yesterday, guys I saw him, and I hadn't here. seen him in like probably three four years. Oh, no. and he he's got and he, and he used to have kind of hair like mine, a little salt and pepper, sounding a little big. A guy went gray when I was like twenty five. So I wear it with like I wear it with pride. It's who I am. It's what God made me to be. If you believe in God, I don't necessarily, but whatever made me, I'm. Uh, this is what I got. This is what I'm going through life with. This is what's in my bucket. So I saw this guy. What's in your bucket? Yeah, my hair. Okay. I got hair in my bucket, dear Liza. So gray hair in my bucket. And he had jet black hair. And he used to have hair. Yeah. And I thought, and his eyebrows were all gray. And I thought, Jesus, you do not know how ridiculous you look. Or the people that get the hair plugs. I'm sorry. Just leave yourselves alone. We all know. Or the guys that wear toupees or wigs. I've seen it. We get it. I know exactly what it is. You're wearing a wig. You can't hide it. We all look at you when you walk by and go like this. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, like Thank that. God. Who, do you, who does he think he's fooling? Thank God it's not windy. <laughs> Man. You know, it looks like muskrat. <laughs> yeah, you, you really it's I mean it's a tough thing because most people are very insecure about their looks, but you just gotta accept it. Like you said, it's what it's what's it's who in, you are. It's who you like are. the girl we're talking about, I, I'm not gonna mention her name. Very pretty lady. Gorgeous. And you you've met her a few times and Apparently, really nice, and then looks unnatural and weird. Leave your faces alone. I mean, different story with the boobs and the butt, but mostly the boobs. I mean, that's up to you. Hey, even boobs. Like Nicole, she's talking today. Our call screener. She yeah. has H size breasts, they are. massive boobs, and she was talking about how much her back hurt because they're both eight to ten pounds each. That much? Oh, that's a lot of weight. And she said she's going to maybe get them done so that it's more comfortable when she's older. That I understand. I don't agree with it, but, you know, it's a comfort thing, and I understand. It's the getting Jubiderm shoved in your lips and Botox rammed in your cheeks and having your face pulled back and stapled to your back of your jaw or your forehead. Yeah, guys don't... Re- care about women aging it's a not it's like a I beautiful love it. me too i Dude, absolutely and you love and i've talked about there's nothing hotter than a chick who's uh, in, in, you know 40 between 40 and 50 who's takes pretty good care of herself and she she looks like a woman to me but if you're in your early 30s and you got a couple of wrinkles and you go stabbing yourself with collagen i mean you change the way you look and that's it that's what it is it's like it's not you and you can't undo it no it's not like buying a sweater that you don't want to wear anymore yeah, you can't just take those cheek implants off. Keep the price tag on. That's a new style. The T Bundell Show. T Bundell Show. 106.1. The Ed.